I welcome dear students to second video of chapter 1 hope all of you are in a good health today i'm going to discuss about pci sound card video card and cpu previous class i explained about the internal hardware and computer and a software now let us discuss one by one pci pci stands for peripheral component interconnect so what is the use of the pci it is used to connect used to attach computer peripherals to pc's motherboard okay and uh, pci is a hardware bus used for adding internal component to desktop computer so you can see the slot the back of the cpu that you can see a slot okay and uh, can be you can also see the rj port there you know so you can attach computers not more computers okay. so pci is a hardware bus a bus like cable used for adding internal components to a desktop computer for example a pci card can be inserted into pci slot on the motherboard providing additional input output ports on the back of the computer here you can see the figure and uh, can understand the pci interface here you can see the pci interface right. pci interface and you can see here the slot that is the rj45 so different types of uh, pci first one is can uh, see the pci conventional pci was introduced in 1992 and 1998 uh, ibm hpl compact introduced pci x that is the extended and uh, pci express also it was introduced in 2004 now video card and going to video card video what is use of the video card so video card is also called the graphics card vc is also called a graphics card so when you purchase a laptop or desktop find someone it is inbuilt in the inbuilt in the motherboard or it can also be extend so it has a built in processor and memory which helps to increase the graphical processing needed in a game and application so graphical processes it is used used na so if you find some of the game uh, you are not able to play the games if you don't have a graphics card right so integrated video cards come with a blue jack to connect the monitor some vc also into the digital video into the jack so uh here you can see the sound card so the here the port here you can just include the now first of all just going to next one video card video card so video card is a card which is either integrated onto the motherboard or to inserted in the expansion slot into the motherboard so we have a two piece it is inbuilt you don't need to no it, it is already there in the motherboard when you pose a motherboard it already integrated or you can just insert in the expansion slot and it is used to generate video output to a display device such as monitor tv or projector 
method to use for video output. Used to generate video output, to display such as monitor, TV, or project. As you know, also it is a graphics card. It is built-in processors and memory, which has to increase the graphical processing needed in game and application. So it is used in the games and also uh, so uh, designing. It, it is also required you know, software design. It is also helpful for the designer. Here you can see the video card, video card, and. Uh, now let us discuss the another important tool, that is the sound card. What is the use of the sound card? You can see here the sound card. And sound card an expensive expansion slot on the motherboard that allows the computer to send audio information to audio devices. Like speakers, headphones, which is known as sound card. It converts digital data into sound and sound into the digital data. So, a sound card also enables us to record audio with a microphone. So some of the mic, uh, it is also imbued in the motherboard or uh, similar to the VC card, the expensive slot on the motherboard and audio information and uh, without the sound card without sound card not possible and not not able to play uh, music or uh, and also can uh, use a speakers headphone and here you can see the this speaker you can connect with here the cloud and this way you can next one is the cpu so cpu is also known as the processor and so the brain of the computer if you use the brain of the computer and uh, this is faster the CPU, quicker the functioning and it response of the program. So whenever we go for purchase a computer, generally ask, check the S CPU in whenever we're going to purchase CPU, uh, plays an important role and uh, functioning we uh, faster depends the speed of the computer also depends on the CPU. So faster the CPU, quicker the function and response of the program time depends on the CPU. Right. So CPU, CPU comes in all shapes and size. Some of the most popular ones are the Intel, AMD and Motorola. Uh, and uh, CPU are mainly uh, main components of the CPU are the first one memory unit. What is the use of the memory unit? It is the principal storage of the computer. It is stored for data and instruction when entered. And second one is ALU. ALU that is the arithmetic and logic unit. ALU. So ALU performs all the mathematical calculations arithmetic and logical operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And third one is the control unit. So control unit, it controls the operation of every part of the computer system. And this unit also controls the transfer and data instruction among other. So now see with the help of, you can understand better with the help of the disk diagram, how it works, the CPU. So once input, Input unit, we use here the keyboard you know, and processor. Where the data processes? The CPU. Data processor. Data processing. So, CPU, the main component, memory unit, control unit, and automatic and logical unit. And after processing, we get the result, the output device like monitor. So this is a very simple process. I hope you're able to understand the concept.
थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो बाय